The year is 2035. World War III has just begun. This is no ordinary war. Instead of millions of soldiers marching to the battlefields, the skies buzz with swarms of autonomous drones casting ominous shadows over cities. While on the ground, self-robot tanks are rolling forward going into the battlefield controlled by artificial intelligence. This is the new age of warfare, the age where humans may never set foot on the battlefield again. But how did we reach this point, and what are the consequences of handing over the reins of war to machines. In the next few minutes, we'll explore the chilling reality of how military drones are set to replace soldiers in World War III. Military drones today are a game changer on the battlefield, transforming how wars are fought. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, can do much more than surveillance. They can hover in the clouds for hours at a time, sending commanders on the ground real-time intelligence. But their potential doesn't stop at observation. Armed with precision-guided weapons, they can deliver devastating strikes, neutralizing targets with surgical accuracy, all without a single human on board. Drones can serve a much broader range of targets by hitting a target when it is revealed. The same cannot be said for human soldiers. A drone does not require sleep, nor does it get hungry, nor does it get fatigued or afraid. It can function in environments considered too hazardous for people, such as flying through a sandstorm or without endangering a pilot's life. They have been used in recent conflicts for everything from reconnaissance to targeted killing. The U.S. military, for example, carried out thousands of drone strikes in places such as Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Yemen. These operations have eliminated high-value targets while greatly reducing the risk to American personnel. But it's not only about combat. Sequencing drones, the cost of clamoring for peace is when the entire landscape of military operations changes. They're employed for logistical support, flying supplies to distant outposts. They perform searches and rescues, finding lost soldiers or civilians in disaster areas. Some even jam enemy communications or act as mobile Wi-Fi hotspots for troops in the field. Military drones are on the rise. The U.S. military owned fewer than 50 drones back in 2001. By 2015, that figure had increased to nearly 7,000. And this is not limited to the U.S. Nations all over the world are quickly expanding their drone inventories. Modern military drones have far more sophisticated sensors, longer ranges, and greater autonomy than ever. Some are even capable of making decisions autonomously, such as redirecting themselves to avoid obstacles in their flight path. Consequently, drones assume more and more of the roles occupied by a soldier in the past. They've replaced piloted planes for many reconnaissance missions, assumed guard duty at military bases, and even acted as high-altitude communication relays. In many respects, they're becoming the eyes, ears, and in some instances, the fists of modern military forces. But for all of the wonders of today's military drones, this is small potatoes. The rapid evolution of drone technology suggests a future in which these machines take an even more central role in warfare. And while conventional air forces depend on a handful of large, expensive, powerful aircraft, swarms employ raw numbers to overwhelm defenses. They can respond to shifting conditions, divide and conquer to multiple ends, or unite to pound a single target with firepower. But how do you stop something coming at you in those kinds of numbers? Conventional air defense systems are deployed to follow and trim out an aircraft or missiles one at a time. They're just not built to deal with hundreds or thousands of smaller, faster moving targets operating in coordination. All the drones obey simple rules about not getting too close to their nearest neighbors and about heading in the same direction as the rest of the flock. However, the basic behaviors are simple and when combined across thousands of units, what you can generate is very complex and adaptive group behavior. This method has multiple advantages over traditional air forces. Swarms are inherently robust. If some drones are lost, the swarm evolves and continues. They are also very versatile as well and are able to quickly adapt formation or tactics based on the situation. And since individual drones are also relatively inexpensive and expendable, swarms can take risks that would be unimaginable for manned aircraft or costly UAVs. Even now, current swarm drones projects are already out there exhibiting some exciting prowess. Swarms of up to 30 drones flying in formation and coordinating their actions have been demonstrated in the U.S. Navy's Locust program. The military also has displayed swarms of more than 100 drones in parades. And researchers already are developing swarms that can move autonomously, making decisions collectively and without human input. So how far are we from actually witnessing these swarms in combat? Closer than you might think.
think. You are several years away from fully autonomous, large-scale swarms, but smaller tactical swarms are almost ready for operational use. The technology is evolving rapidly, and military planners are already integrating swarm tactics into their planning. The implications are staggering. Drone swarms might overwhelm the best air defenses, saturate radar systems, and deplete missile inventories. They could offer surveillance capabilities like never before, blanketing entire regions with sensors. Or they could act as a protection screen for larger aircraft, intercepting incoming threats. And as we stand on the precipice of this new age in aerial artillery, one thing is certain. But the military technology revolution isn't confined to the air. There's a different transformation happening on the ground. Thousands of metal behemoths churning across the battlefield with their tracks, relentlessly advancing. These are not your grandfather's tanks. This is the next evolution in ground warfare, and they don't require a single person inside. They say these machines, ranging from stealthy scout vehicles to hulking main battle tanks, will fly without a crew. They're directed by complex AI systems capable of finding their way over land, recognizing targets, and making tactical decisions on the fly. But how do these warriors without a soul compare to their human-operated versions? In a lot of ways, they're better. These machines did not require sleep or food. They can work continuously 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, without getting tired. No need for regular resupply missions to deliver food, water, and other necessities for a human crew. And maybe most crucially, these robots are not afraid of anything. They do not shy from danger, do not experience combat stress, do not have families waiting for them back home, and those benefits do not end there. In tests, the accuracy of automated targeting systems has been impressive. For instance, the US Army's advanced targeting and lethal Lethality Automated System, ATLAS, has shown it is able to detect, identify, and engage targets faster than and more accurately than a human gunner. Such systems rely on a combination of advanced sensors, machine learning, and high-speed processors to select targets and decide to fire within milliseconds. Picture a battlefield on which these AI tanks can coordinate all their movements, brokering data to each other, and adjusting tactics on the go. They could perform complex maneuvers impossible for human crews to coordinate, and there would be no human passengers to protect, so those vehicles could be designed with different priorities. For example, giving up some armor to carry greater speed or firepower. But when these machine armies come up against human forces, it could be catastrophic. Such AI-empowered ground forces could outwit human armies, exploit chinks in their armor, and respond to shifts in battle space far faster than any human commander could react. They could push attacks forward at all hours of the day and night, without regard for casualties, without concern that their forces needed rest. Humans could be overwhelmed and demoralized by a foe that does not sleep and does not tire. Then there are all the ways that these autonomous systems aren't infallible. Their complex electronics could be disrupted by electromagnetic pulses. Their sophisticated AIs could be hacked by quirky human rules. And there is always the risk that hacking or software glitches could turn these powerful weapons against their owners. 